Hello, hello, YouTube world. Um, I was going to share my experience and thoughts of um, being affected by Hurricane Irma and also a little bit of Harvey. And so let me just get in the video and share what my thoughts and my opinions of going through it because I actually went through it. This is not easy, but this is just my experience and I hope it doesn't irritate anybody, put them down, or just frustrate them, but this is just what I've been through. And I'm sorry if I sound like a cold, I just need to get this out. And so, anyways, let's see. By the end of uh, August, I believe, is when Hurricane Harvey um, happened. And it really got to me because, like, for me, I'm the type of person, if things affect not only me, but affect other people, especially, I don't know, they're strangers, it gets to me. It makes me want to reach out to them. It makes me want to help them in any way possible. I don't care who you are. You know, homeless, black, white, black, or any race or nationality, I want to help. Anyways, that just really got me emotionally and just hurt knowing I couldn't help these people. And then I think about a week after that, which I'm pretty sure, um, heard about on the news on YouTube, I was watching the news. And it pretty much was saying that Florida, where I live, was going to be hit by the, another hurricane. Well, in Texas was the Houston was Harvey hurricane, right? Let me get it right. <laughs> and then, um, and Florida was going to be hit by this hurricane Irma. And so that brought on serious stress. I mean, I can go on and on about going through what I did, but, um, just a short brief of what I went through. When I heard the news that that was going to happen, it really set me off. It triggered me and upset me because I'm thinking, okay, I wasn't the type of person when I heard the news, I was like, why is this happening to me? I was like, okay, if it can happen to Hurricane Harvey, it can happen to us. So I was devastated. You know, I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to be without, no food, no power, no nothing. Anyways, um, stay on track. The next thing that happened was um, some of the people I was with and living with weren't very serious. Some people weren't serious. And people even said in Houston that they weren't serious. And then it hit them. <clears throat> and I went through a lot of stress with that because people need to be serious when they hear things like that and be prepared. And no one I was with was prepared. And it just frustrated me more. And then we finally evacuated and went to Georgia. We crossed Georgia and stayed at a hotel and that was very miserable and very overwhelming because at first I didn't want to go because I knew that if I stay you know I really didn't want to be in a hotel with a bunch of six people six people and it's like that's too stressful for me and it's like my emotions went from we need to leave now to I just want to stay where I'm at you know it gets hit if it gets hit I know where I'm going when I die and then all of a sudden we left we went to the hotel and it happened to be one of the last rooms that we stayed in at the hotel and it was a smoking room and I think that's why I got sick a little bit <laughs> anyways um it just really frustrated me the most because we weren't prepared for it and like for me, knowing how I am as a person, even before that happened, the whole hurricane and everything happened, I'm the type of person, I like to be on top of things. I like to make sure I have stocked up on food, money set aside for different things, rainy days, disasters, of course, you know? And it's like I was in that situation. And some people look like, well, you moved there with people you don't really know. And I get that. <clears throat> I heard that many times. But the thing that got me was just the frustration of it all. You know, and then staying with people that I'm not comfortable with. And it's like, it was just so frustrating.
all I could do was just hope for the best and pray, pray really hard. And then finally, we left the hotel, came home, and I knew, like, I hopefully it gets better, but no power. So for two days, we went without no power, and then finally yesterday morning, there was power. And I would, I've got to say, just to end and conclude what I'm saying about my experience of actually being in a hurricane and the, the whole thing, and just maybe advice for anybody that may in the future go through it or just, just would like to know what it was like. My advice is make sure you're prepared now for any devastations that may happen, whether flooding, whether hurricanes, whether tornadoes. Make sure you have your stuff together. Make sure you budget things in order so when things do happen, you're not like, I didn't prepare for anything. No, you need to be prepared for anything. And you, everybody plans different for different things, vacations and stuff. I'm just saying in my experience, make sure you're prepared. Number two, um, do the best you can through it. That's only what I got to say is do the best you can. You know, sometimes, like for me, I was put in a situation I had to be with people I did not feel comfortable with. They irritated me, they aggravated me, but I've learned through that, you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would. And it could have been a lot worse, but I learned that, you know, sometimes you've got to be in an uncomfortable situation or environment and you may not like it, but you have to make it, make the best of it. And then the whole thing with not having power, I've learned through that is... Sometimes things happen, honestly. Sometimes things happen that are out of our reach, out of our control, and we're just blown away by it, and we just want to hide in our shell or hide in a dark room somewhere. Lock me up. I don't want to ever come out. But I've learned you've got to be thankful for what you do have, and it's it's so hard when you're going through things in life or to look at your present situation and, like, why does so-and-so have it better than I do? Why do I always have the worst case of ser- scenario? Sorry, I almost messed my word. Anyways, it was a learning experience, you know, to love those that you love. And I know people use that word, but seriously, you need to love people. You need to treat people with respect and realize, you know, this could be their last day. This could be your last day. And we need more love in the world instead of hate. It's not going to solve anything. Sometimes you don't get along with people, but you just got to make the best of it. So that's my experience. If you like this video, like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love that. And share it to those who may need to hear that you, you always need to be prepared. You always need to be ahead of the game and not just slack off and realize, oh, when it happens, it happens. No, you may lose everything. And that's what I was afraid the most. I may lose everything. But thank God I didn't. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.